Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today, in this video, we will be seeing how we can design a binomial array of antennas. So, before we design a binomial array of antennas, we need to know what binomial array of antennas are. So, what do you mean by a binomial array of antennas? Well, let's find out. So, an array of antennas is said to be a binomial array of antennas if it radiates with negligible amount of side lobes. That is, we saw in the previous videos when we plot the radiation pattern, that is when we plot the lobe diagram of a particular radiation that is produced by a particular array of antennas, it will have a certain major lobe in the direction of propagation and certain minor lobes in the direction in which the radiation is not intended to propagate. So, an array of antennas is said to be a binomial array of antennas if it has negligible amount of side lobes. So here I have written it down. An array of antennas which radiate in a specific direction with negligible amount of side lobes is referred to as a binomial array of antennas. So now the next question that you should be asking is why do we need this? Why have negligible amount of side lobes? So if you ask that question in your mind, you are on the right track. So let me clear that question for you. Why do we need minimum number of side lobes? Well, in the case of radar applications, these side lobes may lead to the deduction of false targets. That is, because of these minor lobes, it may lead to the deduction of false targets in radar applications. So that is, side lobes may lead to the deduction of false targets called false alarms in radar applications. So therefore, how do we reduce these side lobes? These side lobes are reduced through a process which is referred to as tapering. That is, the technique used for reducing the side lobes is called tapering. How is tapering accomplished? It is accomplished by feeding the array elements with tapering current amplitudes. So that is, the center elements are fed with currents of very large amplitude and the edge elements with relatively small amplitude. So that is how tapering is accomplished. So, in a binomial array, the current amplitudes are proportional to the coefficients that are seen in a binomial series. So, in a binomial array, the current amplitudes are propositional to the coefficients in a binomial series. So, now, let n be the number of elements that are present in a binomial array of antennas. So, if n is the number of elements, then the binomial series for a power n minus 1 is considered as a plus b the whole raised to n minus 1 is equal to a raised to n minus 1 plus n minus 1 into a raised to n minus 2 into b plus n minus 1 into n minus 2 divided by 2 factorial a raised to n minus 3 in b raised to 2 plus etc 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 so this thus is the binomial series for power n minus 1 so therefore this series continues that is for a plus b the whole raised to n minus 1 it is a raised to n minus 1 plus n minus 1 into a raised to n minus 2 into b plus n minus 1 into n minus 2 divided by 2 factors into a raised to n minus 3 into b raised to 2 plus so on so on so on so that is the expansion for a binomial series for power n minus 1 so here, if the value of n, for example, is taken as 4, then we can see that if n is equal to 4, then a plus b raised to n minus 1 is a plus b the whole raised to 4 minus 1, which is a plus b the whole raised to 3. That is a plus b the whole raised to 3, which is equal to a raised to 3 plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cube. So therefore here, the coefficients are 1, 3, 3 and 1. So therefore now, the coefficients of a binomial array can be obtained by using a particular triangle which is referred to as Pascal's triangle. So what is a Pascal's triangle? Well, so this is what you mean by a Pascal's triangle. So here, by observing the power, the value of the power, we can find the value of the coefficients that might be present in a particular binomial array of antennas. 
so here it is 1 then it is 1 1 then if it is 1 2 1 and here for the value of 4 just like we saw before a raised to n minus 1 that is a raised to 4 minus 1 is equal to a cube which is 1 3 3 1 then comes 1 4 6 4 1 etc 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 so now the normalized path field is given by the equation e is equal to cos of n minus 1 pi by 2 cos theta so that is this is the value for the normalized path field of a binomial array of antennas now let's now see the advantages and disadvantages for using a binomial array of antennas well the advantages the first advantage is the fact that the side lobes are absent so the side lobes here are absent the second advantage is the fact that it has a large half power beam width and if the distance between the antenna elements is less than or equal to lambda by 2 then there is no side lobes present at all so that these are the advantages of using a binomial array of antennas well what is the disadvantage so here in the case of binomial array of antennas we saw that for each antenna element different amplitudes of current must be produced or it must be given so for each of these elements of this array of antennas different amplitude of currents must be supplied so hence as a result of this the large ratio of current amplitudes which are supposed to be given to the antenna elements produce some practical difficulties so here it might be practically difficult for us to supply different amplitudes of currents for different elements of the same array of antennas so there may be some practical difficulties so therefore this does some sub a binomial array of antennas and how we can design a binomial array of antennas so summing it up a binomial array of antennas is an array of antennas where the side lobes are very much minimum and we obtain this by supplying the current amplitude for each of these elements according to the binomial series so i hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what binomial array of antennas is and we'll be discussing much more about further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned guys and i'll see you in the next video thank you